when you guys read the scripts and started to see how the season was going to play out, what was your initial reaction? We were given the first couple episodes at yeah. first. I thought it was amazing. This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This is the Sparrow Academy. It was really thrilling to read and to see the sparrows come in and what went on with them. I wanted to find out where Lila had been. And actually, we don't until later on in the series. So I sort of had to ask Steve, hold on, what, what's going on here? Where's she been? And so I could inject that into the episode. How about you? Well, there's like, there's a pitch meeting and then you get the first couple episodes and they continue to change as time goes on and new drafts come in. Uh, I would say the pitch meetings are always the most exciting because you get sort of like an overview of the different things that are going to happen in the season without ever getting too specific. Yeah, but from the get go, it's it's been a joy to like, oh, we get to do that and that and that and that. And it culminates to this. And then well, finally, when it's all together uh, and summed, all the different layers of production come together to make this season of television and you watch it at home. It was an absolute pleasure. I, I was blown away by the season. I mean, I'm sure you guys knew really early on at this, but Elliot's character fully becoming Victor was an incredibly powerful and, but at the same time, like uh, subtle uh, and nuanced moments in the show. What was it like either reading that or, or, you know, watching it come together? Beautiful. It was so lovely that they um, wrote it in such an authentic and sensitive way. And I think we were just really happy to see the amount of support that Elliot was getting, you know? And same, same feeling? Yeah, I think she said it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Scenes like that, it's more so like a joyous thing rather than it is pressure because it, there's so much discussion went into like the tone of how it would come across. And yeah, I thought it was handled beautifully and a joy to watch that sort of very happy moment for all of these characters come out and like, it's great. But there's moments, those moments in particular, it's not that you can see the workings behind the scenes, but what you just see and what comes across on screen is like an incredible amount of love. It's like, it like seeps through the camera. Like you can tell that, uh, you can tell how, how much care there is into it. And and uh, and it was almost like a, some of the most moving uh, in a season that has a lot of moving moments, you know, right up there. Uh, they were really well done. Talk to me about the, um, the Footloose dance number. That's, I mean, I'm sure that was like, what, weeks of rehearsal, an entire week to shoot, what was it? We were in quarantine for like, I wanna say somewhere around two weeks of like dance rehearsal, where we were all just doing it over Zoom and uh, had to sort of learn the choreography in our own space. And it was quite a challenge, I struggled with that. <laughs> Looks great though, I mean, it's a fun sequence. It's yeah. really fun to watch. And looking for you. Spoiler alert. What was it like for you guys to get to spend some time together working as scene partners this season? So much fun. Um, it was really uh, an absolute delight. Like uh, we start the season off and really hating each other and, and um, not gelling. And then after time, there's this admiration that they have and um, they become friends, kind of. Yeah. I'd say it's, they become it's a friends. It's fiery opening, though. It was really fun to to have this this fight at the beginning, and we got quite a few weeks of rehearsal with that because it kept getting pushed, and so we just kept adding more and more to this fight because I think we just really enjoyed it. It was also um, technically interesting how they had to shoot around it. I thought it was an interesting concept for a fight. Let's get over here. Can you look at it? Yeah, it wasn't originally in the script. Right. It was like, there's, um, there's more here. There's more hatred here. We How can we do this? Great bits though, like that, and also like the hallway bit with the briefcase and like going through the whole sort of collapsed 1960s time commission thing. I think they're both really good it's at what they arc. do. So I think it was really, yeah, really fun yeah. to to pair up. Where would that leave these characters? If there is a season four now, we, we are closing moments. Is our, our, our group is essentially powerless. Potentially, mm. um, what do you hope happens in your in the next season? Should there be one? I mean, Aiden, like, what does five look like, and what is what does his life look like if he's you know continues to be a six year old man in a in a, like a 
15 year old, 16 year old body. I'd be curious to know what you think happens. Cause there's only so much one can say, right? What do you, what are your theories for this? I feel like five is not ready to lay down and, and just let and go on living as a, as a teenager. I feel like he must try to fix it. But I feel like I like Lila, I feel like might, might be interested in, in having the family and actually moving on with life. You think five would want to reject the reality and Lila would find some place in it? Interesting. That's what I think. Although the, maybe that's too, maybe that's too yeah, right. Maybe, that's, I don't know. maybe it does happen. I don't see. know. We'll see. It's quite the ending though. Uh, the, it's very ambiguous the way they've done it. We'll see. Mystery. 